Today, we're excited for today's webinar covering a seemingly evergreen topic in the vacation rental industry, which is building a better direct booking strategy. Um, we've heard a lot from property managers and owners in the past, uh, not really knowing how to build a better strategy, where to start, what to do, um, and that it might not be as easy as it seems. So today's webinar is really built to show you why and how you can get started with building a better strategy, whether you already have your own website, already have a strategy in place in terms of email marketing and collection. Um, we're here to provide some tips and tricks uh, along the way. Um, so my name is Ryan Saylor. I'm the head of partnerships here at Beyond. But you'll be hearing from three others on our webinar today. Um, Arthur Kolker, the CEO and founder of StayFi, uh, Ryan Austin, the co-founder of Switchback Email Marketing, and then also Ian Rhodes, our signal product manager here at Beyond. Um, Ian Rhodes is going to kick things off uh, with building a, a direct booking website, where to start, a little bit of the how and the why um, to actually anchor your strategy in a direct booking website. Um, and then we'll pass it over to Arthur, who's going to go over actually collecting some of the, the guest emails and valuable guest data. That's going to be the foundation for your actual strategy here. And then Ryan's going to close things out with how to actually approach email marketing. Uh, again, what to do, how to get started, um, and a little bit more of the why as well. And then once we get through everybody here, we'll wrap up with some Q&A. So if you have some questions already heading into this webinar, feel free to uh, direct them towards that Q&A or the chat, whatever is easiest for you. Um, or as our presenters go through the webinar here and things sort of come up and you need some clarifying questions or any examples or anything like that, feel free to add them in the Q&A and we will tackle those at the end. So with that being said, I will pass it over to Ian Rhodes from Beyond to kick us off. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, I'm the product manager for Signal, which is Beyond's direct booking website. Um, and I wanted to start off by sharing some data. Um, a few months ago, we pulled over 100 US-based property managers uh, managing 16 or more listings. Um, their top three priorities, as you can see, increase bookings made on their direct website, improve owner retention and acquisition, marketing, and growing brand awareness for their business. Um, it's not a silver bullet, but a quality website and direct booking engine can help solve all three. Uh, even if you're just starting out, most property managers today started with their own listings and grew into managing friends or families' listings. How you go beyond your sphere of how you go beyond your sphere of influence to a larger network, um, a website helps you build a brand. Uh, even if the direct booking portion of your business hasn't materialized yet, or uh, you have an interest in pursuing. This is what we're seeing for booking trends. Uh, so what are we looking at here? This is a share of reservations by channel for US bookings in the month of January, including January, 2022, and looking back over the previous five years, also comparing January, 2022. Um, in the US direct channel share, that's the uh, green, sorry, is falling. Uh, Airbnb, if you focus in on the bright pink, uh, their share is gaining up into the right. However, in dollar terms, direct bookings are more or less flat. And our takeaway from this, uh, broadly speaking, we think Airbnb is introducing new customers to the short-term rental market as a product, uh, growing the market and changing people's travel habits. This is great. Uh, but Marketing uh, and direct booking strategy from a few years ago uh, that was doing okay may no longer be enough. Um, to avoid becoming increasingly dependent on online travel agencies for roughly three fourths of bookings instead of a little over 50%, uh, that's as, as things are this January. So if you're acquiring a new guest via an OTA, you may need some new technology to help them book direct when they come back. For property managers with established or growing businesses, or for owners or property managers just starting out with four or five listings, but ambitious goals for 2022, these are some questions that you should ask yourself. Um, where do your ads, direct email, and, and business cards lead to? Where do prospective owners go to learn about your business to grow your listings? And how, where might guests go if they wanted to talk to you directly or book? Your website, 
is your brand. It's your business development tool. It's your revenue generator. Uh, arguably, it's the most critical piece of marketing you can invest in. Not all websites are created equal. Uh, building your foundational marketing asset requires some thought. Uh, even if you only have a handful of listings and are planning to grow this year, a website is an opportunity with an ROI that's worth it. Uh, before you make any investment in a new website, these are some of the most critical things you should consider. SEO, or search engine optimization, flexible booking, and content management. What's not on our list that we see as table stakes would be clean designs, a, a mobile-friendly website that seamlessly integrates with your property management system and dynamic pricing tools. In terms of SEO, search engine optimization is not just a buzzword. It's a real concept that pays off, uh, but it doesn't have to be overcomplicated. Your website should be built to prioritize SEO from the URL structure to the words on the page, uh, to headers and, and things like that. If it's not, this is absolutely worth prioritizing. Make it as easy as possible for owners and guests to find you. If they can't find you on search engines, they'll find your competition. Airbnb Brian Chesky uh, said at a conference recently, that on Airbnb, 500 million people have searched with flexible dates. Flexible date searching acts as an occupancy driver. It creates more wiggle room in your calendar and helps guests find ways to save money, ultimately driving a stronger revenue management strategy. It's your website. Content management gives you the tools and the power to management as you see fit uh, within your control when you want to make those changes. A couple of pain points we've heard from short-term rental managers recently. Um, their content management system is out of date. The software technology is, uh, version has gotten old. It's harder to make updates now. Um, their content management software with an old version means their plugins have also slowed down their website and hurt their SEO. Uh, their provider won't update it and they feel trapped. Make sure you can not only update your website now and, and, and take control over your content, but that the tools you use will stay current. For our webinar attendees, uh, we have this exclusive offer. Beyond is offering a free audit of your current direct booking website. Thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate it. Next up, I'd like to introduce Arthur Kolker, who's the CEO at StayFi. Hey everyone, thank you so much, Ian, for that great overview. Uh, my name's Arthur Kolker. I'm the founder and CEO of StayFi. Just to give you a little personal background, as I entered the short-term rental industry, by doing consulting, helping short-term rental management companies build brands and get more direct bookings. And we found their biggest persistent issue with building those brands is the lack of access to guest data. So I'm just gonna explain a little bit about different ways where you can capture emails and other valuable guest data to kind of build your direct booking brand and build awareness of what you guys have to offer uh, through your brand directly versus going through an OTA. Um, and then when, you know, I'm going to start the conversation with us, what types of guest data is most valuable and how you should be collecting. Um, and one of the biggest issues I see from a lot of property managers is they may have a lot of historical guest data, but they don't really know how to take that forward and start building their direct book business. And I think one of the biggest errors people have is they've collected emails in the past, but they've never marketed to those emails or have permission to email those guests. And they start off by just you know, blasting an email to really old lists of folks and then getting a high spam rate, high unsubscribe rate. Um, and so it's really important to start building processes to collect emails in a compliant way and reach out to those guests frequently so that you can establish a rapport where they expect your emails 
um, and don't unsubscribe or mark them as spam. And then obviously having that connection with guests directly where they know about your brand and your offerings, whether it's between you as a person and the guest or prospective guest or your brand and that guest, that's gonna be the direct personalized way that's gonna build value associated with your brand as opposed to building value associated with the OTA like Airbnb. So now just going into different places to collect guest data or prospective guest data. And there's really three we're gonna talk about. The first is on your own website. So like Ian mentioned, your website is definitely your most important brand asset. And there's different ways for you to optimize for collecting inf information from both guests, prospective guests, as well as prospective owners if you have a management company. Uh, the second, which I've seen a lot of, especially smaller property managers have success with is on Facebook, and I'll show you how that works. And then as well as our own product, StayFi, which helps collect information from guests that are actually staying in the properties. When it comes to your own direct booking site, uh, you're spending potentially dollars on advertising, you've invested in SEO, you may be doing search marketing, and you want to really extend and maximize the value of all the traffic you're sending into that site. And one of the best ways to do that is email capture. And there's a ton of different ways to capture emails on your website. And all of the major email marketing tools, whether it's Campaign Monitor, Constant Contact, MailChimp, all provide the types of forms and integrations. Uh, that you can go forward with to capture that information. So different examples that I think we can take a look at here is a give get. So through MailChimp or another email tool, you can create pop-ups or forms on your website to collect information. And you have to think about how can I optimize the collection of that information so people want to submit their email. So we definitely recommend um, giving something of value back to this prospective guest in order for them to submit their email. And I'm sure you've seen this on, you know, just about every e-commerce website you can imagine. And here's a great one from Tyann. Uh, who manages a rental company in Branson, Missouri. And here she's actually created both a guidebook and a $100 off coupon to get it's automatically emailed to the prospective guests when they submit their information here. So again, in all those email marketing tools, the big ones, when you create these forms, you can also program automated emails that get sent after the submission so that you can make sure everybody who submits their information is getting this promo code and guest book. Um, and then, you know, throughout your website, you can place forms or different collection points on your homepage or in other pages so that, you know, it's easy for folks to submit their email and get uh, something of value back from you when they subscribe. Facebook groups, I think, is one of the underutilized ones that I've seen a lot of, especially smaller property managers, find guests or prospective guests that have a high intent to book. Uh, there are a ton of these groups on Facebook, which are, you know, basically rental by owner groups in different geographies. And if you don't have one for your geography, I definitely recommend starting one, potentially with other folks you know in the area that manage properties. Uh, but they're usually private groups where they only accept direct book listing. So if somebody, a traveler says, oh, I'm traveling to Kauai in this case, uh, they only accept you to list your direct booking site. You can't list OTA links. And you can also ask people for their email in these groups and then email them uh, you know, your different listings that you have on your website. And this is a great way to find folks who have a high intent to travel to your destination. So instead of just perhaps spending money on search marketing or digital ads where you may be sending people that are much higher in the funnel who may not really be looking to book in your destination. And these types of groups, you can find high intent travelers. And I've seen a lot of valuable email collection, especially for smaller property managers or owner operators who are just managing maybe one or two of their own properties. And then finally, there's our own product, StayFi, uh, which is very similar to what I'm sure you've experienced at a hotel, Starbucks, airport where in order to access the Wi-Fi, you have to submit information. Uh, in this case, we typically collect name, email, and phone number. And this is a great way to collect information from every guest, not just the booker that's staying in your property, because we find 80 plus percent of all guests use the Wi-Fi during the course of their stay. And we're collecting it in a compliant way where we're getting all the opt-ins 
and having guests agree to use your Wi-Fi also in a legal way when they submit their information. And we can connect to just about every email marketing provider out there. So all that data flows automatically to your email tool uh, with additional information like which property the guest stayed in. Just a little example of StayFi with one of our early customers uh, who installed StayFi in 40 of their homes and they had, you know, five, six bedroom homes typically. And we found we collected, you know, 80% of their guests emails over the course of six months. And they drove a significant number of direct bookings just from that guest information. And obviously this guest data we're collecting is evergreen. So the value is persistent over months or years as people typically book uh, the same destination or home again in future years. And they wanna learn how to book that directly with the property manager or the homeowner. And then there's just a few other ways. I know we're gonna, Ryan's really gonna dive into email marketing, but there are other channels which you can reach guests. And I think one of the big ones that gets overlooked is text marketing. I'd say, well, email has, you know, high opt-in rates, but typically lower open rates. Text marketing has lower opt-in rates, but very high open rates, like 80, 90% of the texts you send will be seen by the user. And in StayFi, we just launched uh, the ability to send SMS messages to guests that opt into your campaign. And we definitely see this as a growing way to continue to engage guests that have a high intent to travel back to your destination since you can send them special offers or information about new homes you're launching uh, through text messages as well. And it's a great way to complement any emails that you're sending as well, any of those campaigns. And this one is a little more advanced. I see mainly from larger property managers is all those emails you're collecting can be used to target people on social media, especially Facebook and Instagram. And there's two ways to really do this if you're interested in learning more. Uh, one's through custom audience and one's through pixels. So if you do have a list of previous guests and you have their name and email, you can actually upload those into ads tools like Facebook's ads manager and target all of them with your branded content on Instagram, Facebook, or other platforms. And then if you use something like a pixel, which you can place on most websites, including the signal websites, um, that allows you to automatically retarget anybody who visits your websites through those same channels. So you can both retarget email lists as well as folks that visit certain pages, whether it's the StayFi splash page or your actual direct booking website. And now um, here's some information if you're interested about learning more about StayFi. We do have two promos uh, for everybody on this call and those will get sent out in the email after. So don't worry about writing those down. Uh, and there also will be a link to schedule a demo if you're interested in learning more. And now I'll hand it over to Ryan who will dive into more detail on how to take those emails and make the most of them. Awesome. Thanks, Arthur. Um, so diving into email marketing, before I go into my slides, just a little background on me. I got introduced to the vacation rental industry in 2006 by managing email marketing team. Um, so I've seen everything with email over 15 years that predates iPhone. So it's kind of cool to see the evolution of email within such a great industry of vacation rental. So um, just want to start this slide with why email marketing is important and maybe more than ever. Uh, you know, going back to Ian's first slide, the top three um, reasons of what property managers are looking for in 2021 is to improve owner retention, increase bookings on direct website, and uh, grow marketing um, for brand awareness. Email can drive all three of those. So having brand awareness through email, driving qualified traffic, and increasing your revenue. I love this HubSpot report here. Even going back years ago, it's always seen as one of the highest driving uh, marketing channels, but reported last year, uh, $42 return on every dollar spent and it, making it the most effective marketing channel of the year. So email can drive some of the best traffic back to your direct website. Um, we take a more comprehensive approach to email marketing instead of just sending out emails and hoping for the best. We actually see it starting by identifying where you capture your guest and subscriber data. So of course, through your website, your property management software, and something like StayFi is a great way to capture not just 
email addresses, but all the data. Once you have the data, it's now kind of taking it to a level where you can use it to send targeted campaigns. More driving with segmentation and personalization has become really more important over the years and drives some of the highest ROI. If you have the data, basically use it. Um, and then from there, now that you got your data, you got your campaigns, kick in some automation. It's really easy to do using data from, again, your property management system or StayFi, you can then create kind of a custom journey and build that kind of brand awareness and direct booking language. We, going back to the segmentation, we saw that uh, there's a great stat in DMA of segmented and targeted emails generated 50% of all email revenue. So the, the whole comprehensive approach to email marketing is important and showing that segmentation can be one of the most important parts there. I, we gathered through Switchback um, over the last year, uh, all a, a group of data from our clients. And I wanted to show this mainly because it's, it's all the strategies in email marketing that are important and using your ROI stats to drive what is important. And from guest automation to website automation, owner campaigns is a big one, just your general email. And then what we really love is the re-engagement campaigns, getting people to re-engage with your email marketing. So continue to test and use this data to predict what ideal campaign, but make sure you have more of a, a full strategy in place with email marketing. So getting started, we hear is usually the hardest part, but that's where we can help or find a partner in the industry that can help with email marketing. Once you got it in place, you can certainly take it on your own, but getting started or switch back or any, any company out there is really important to partner with. From there, what we do is we help fully branded email designs and kick in some marketing strategy. So again, driving that brand awareness, making sure your template represents the quality of your website and everything you do from a digital marketing aspect, carry that into your email. And then we help kind of reach that ROI. Um, we really focus on tracking and measuring. If you use simple tools like Google Analytics, um, inbox tools, um, either way, make sure you are driving goal-driven strategies and follow it through your analytics to push your next type of campaign you wanna focus on. So kind of to recap real here, it's all about starting with capturing your data. That allows you to build powerful segmentation and then custom automation. Don't forget about your one-time campaigns, just as important as targeted or automation and segmentation. Don't be scared to find a partner for success. They're out there. We're obviously happy to help. You know, with the partner, make sure you're focused on design and layouts. There are a lot of things you can help to get to the inbox. There are uh, stats that kind of prove that the deliverability can be one of your most important parts. So do your homework. There's a lot you can do with deliverability. Um, and then of course, measuring for success. Amazing. Thanks everybody. That was great to, uh, to go through. Um, I saw we had one question that Arthur was able to answer live in the Q and A. Um, I had another one or a couple more come through beforehand from uh, property managers that couldn't make it today. Uh, the first one, I think, specifically was geared towards Ian um, and wondering about a direct booking website, um, specifically this property manager they mentioned. They currently have 12 unique listings that they're managing, looking to onboard more this year. Is that kind of in the range of actually making a feasible direct booking website work? And what have you seen from Signal or other direct booking websites um, as far as sizing goes? Is there a limit or a range that you typically see or, or come across? Uh, yes, that is within the range. Um, Typically what we see is uh, folks who are on a growth trajectory, um, website investment is not something that you do to catch up and, and automate your business after you've grown from 12 to 25 or 50 listings. It's something that helps you accomplish that growth. So um, what we wanted to do was uh, align the way that, that Signal works with that. Um, and folks who are, who are set up for growth are typically looking at a PMS system or already have one. And that's one of the important things that I think it's, it's uh, I, I can share about Signal. Uh, Signal requires a PMS system to run. Um, and we really value the launch timeline and ongoing automation 
that a PMS helps us bring to the direct booking experience. Um, our current partners are Barefoot, Escapia, Guesty, Streamline, and Track. And we can certainly recommend any one of those as uh, a platforms that will help someone who wants to scale up this year uh, grow from 12 to 25 to 50, um, if that makes sense. But yes, Signal is very much a fit, and we see it as being an investment that helps make that happen. Cool. Good to hear. Um, and if anybody has any uh, further questions, feel free to toss them in q and I've just got one last one um, geared towards uh, Ryan and Arthur. Somebody was just asking in general, what do you see in terms of time expectations for managing either the uh, email collection side of things or the marketing strategy side of things? What typically would you expect from a property manager working with you uh, time-wise as a commitment, even on a weekly basis? I guess I'll take that first. Um, I'd say with Stafi, um, you know, the definitely the largest time investment is setting up the system uh, as our, there's a hardware component that you have to plug in to the router in each property. And that's what will broadcast the guest network with the captive portal. Um, and so I'd say that's where it takes, you know, 30 minutes per home roughly to plug that in and test it out. Um, and then I'd say, you know, outside of, we really talked just really in this webinar about the marketing features of the, the service. Um, but we also provide like outage alerting for Wi-Fi occupancy alerting. So, you know, if the internet goes down in a property, you will get a notice and then you may want to action on that uh, when there's a turn or you get before new guests arrive. Uh, so it may create some work or make your life a lot easier because you'll know about those issues um, before guests discover them. Um, so we find that that's kind of typically when people engage with the platform is when they do receive a notice from us uh, to check on the status of a property, whether there are, you know, 20 people on the Wi-Fi, which would be probably be problematic in most properties, or uh, there's an internet outage and you can see what's happening in that specific home. Got it. Cool. Brian, any, anything to add there on just time commitments for the week for, for marketing strategy? Sure. So it, it varies from client to client. We, we really see email marketing as a partnership. So we do rely on working with you or a point of contact at your company. Commitment, we try to make it as easy as possible. So we'll send you like a Google sheet to fill out or send us what you want to focus on. And then we build the email and send it. The more you're engaged, the better your email performance will be. But we sit, have you sit back and wait. We reach out to you and keep you on board. Uh, we're big fans of marketing calendars. So sometimes usually upfront can be some of your most valuable time to get email and marketing in place. But after that, it should be pretty minimal. You know, we recommend at least one email a month, sometimes two, or even depending on how big you are, you could even think of one a week. More than one a month is really you start to use that data and target your, your guest and subscriber list. So commitment from a client, it's a little bit more upfront to get started, um, but ongoing should just be a couple hours a month, really. And again, we keep you uh, motivated and sending emails constantly. We also offer a program where you can get in and, and produce your own emails. So you don't have to lean on us or our team. Uh, we will train and consult and help you run email marketing on your own. So if you have staff, we'll set it up professionally, connect everything, set in automation for you, set up your Stafi emails, and then just let you run on your own. So that's how it varies from client to client. But Cool. Good to know. Um, Arthur, I think question for you came through in the chat. Did you see that one? Yeah, about passwords. So uh, I say the way most people set up Stafi, when they manage for homeowners is they install the Stafi, it's called an access point, and they actually leave the home's existing Wi-Fi running. So you may have TVs or door locks or security cameras. Uh, we don't want to mess with that stuff, and we want to let the homeowner use the network like they always have. Uh, then the Stafi access point will broadcast a guest network, and that guest network will be typically, most people want it to be the same in every property. So you have one set of Wi-Fi instructions, which would be you know, brand guest network, and that would be the name of the network in all homes. So you, know, you just only have to communicate one thing to guests. And then there's different password options. So you can have a traditional Wi-Fi password before the captive portal, 
So other people couldn't see the captive portal and a guest could only access it with the password, which again would be the same in all the properties if you're using the same network name. Um, or you can have a password on the splash page or you can have no password. Sometimes people who are in more kind of rural destinations or beach destinations and uh, they just want anybody to join the Wi-Fi. So people have different approaches to passwords and we support all of them. Um, but usually we just, you know, you move guests away from the homeowner Wi-Fi to the StayFi Wi-Fi, which has its own name and password. Got it. Great. Cool. Well, I think that's everything we've had come through thus far. Um, so let me just take a quick look here. Um, we will be following up with an email that'll include the recording if you jumped in late um, or for anybody who might have missed things here. Um, we'll send the full recording so you have that to backtrack on. All of those offers included uh, throughout the webinar as well will be included there. And then contact info for everybody on the call um, if you want to reach out and chat more about everybody here. Um, happy to do so and just be on the lookout for that email later today. Uh, but I wanted to thank everybody for joining today and our three presenters here. Really appreciate everybody's time and hope everybody has a good rest of the day.